Hello, Internet. My name is Sam Rebersi, and this is After Campfire. Hello, Henry. And, um, how's it going? That's it. That's my question. Episode over. I'm, I'll do nothing else. <laughs> um, hello. It is I, Sam Rubenstein, um, and I'm here to talk with you all about things. So, uh, here we go. Uh, when I made my last video, I was talking about expanding the manga collection in my um, classroom because my kids are obsessed with, like, m manga. My kids like to read, they just don't know what to read, and some of them are terrible at reading, which is a big issue. I didn't know how big of a problem it was, but my kids are uh, having some tough times with basic English. Um, and it's concerning to me because, uh, you know, they're in sixth grade and they should be able to read at a sixth grade level. But, uh, uh, <clears throat> So, um, a lot of my kids are, however, into comic books, manga, a lot of my kids are into anime, um, nerdy kids, I have nerdy kids, but also, like, not nerdy kids, like, the kids who want to be nerdy, but don't have, like, the actual ability to back up what they're saying. So, um, I asked you for recommendations on what my kids should have to read in the class, and unsurprisingly, you said One Piece. And a couple other things, but mostly you said One Piece. And I have, like, one kid who's not actually in my class. He's in the class that uses my classroom when I'm not in there, begging me to get One Piece. Um, like, obsessed with it, thinks it's amazing, thinks, you know, like, oh, if you get it, everyone will love it. Um, and he's probably right. That's it. I'm just gonna... Yeah, he's probably right. Here's the thing, though. No. <laughs> no, that's not true. Eventually, I'm gonna have to pick up some One Piece. The thing is, is... um, it, I really ask this as a one-sided question. Like, I know what I've already started getting. The kids have gotten Naruto, My Hero Academia, Vigilante. Um, I got Attack on Titan, not because, like, oh, you know, it's, it was cheap and on sale, and they like it, um... Uh, I got more Naruto, I've got, I got some Shippuden stuff, I got, uh, just chapters upon chapters of things, because there's so much, um, there's things that my kids, like, obviously want, like, Dragon Ball Z, not Dragon Ball Super, uh, or Dragon Ball, um, which is doable. Uh, the big thing is, like, just trying to find stuff for everyone is much harder than, you know, it sounds. Um, so yeah, just working on finding it, getting my life together, doing my best. That's it, you know? Um, there's certain things I'd love to get them, but they're not ready for yet, like, uh, you know, all of it. <laughs> Um, I don't know if they're ready for Death Note. I don't think a lot of them could handle it. Uh, I think the most interesting thing was when I got My Hero Vigilante, you know, there were comments like, oh, well, she's not well-dressed. And, like, it happened for, like, a brief millisecond. And I squashed it real quick where a kid was like, oh, look, her butt's hanging out. I go, what's funny about that? Hmm? What is it? Well, it's a butt. Yeah. She's a superhero. She's saving the world. And it got real quiet, and they were like, you're right, sorry. And, like, I was just, if you can't act mature, you're not going to get to use my books. Plain and simple. Um, Henry asked me, like, what's something that came back that I was kind of happy about? Like, it wasn't better than I was expecting. And I had to think about this, because, like, I, I don't know. I had no idea what to answer for this. Um, so I'm going to go way into left field of what Henry's expecting, but I was a big fan of Invader Zim growing up, um, and this past year, Invader Zim, Enter the Florpus, uh, a, a one-shot movie about Invader Zim came out, and it was really good, actually. Um, I think that was one of the bigger things, like, 
for me, when it came back, um, there's always that 50-50 split. Like, I saw that, at, then, like, two days later, I saw um, Rocco's Modern Life Static Cling. Uh, these were two shows I loved growing up, and Rocco's My Lo Modern Life Static Cling was just dense and heavy and too self-referential and hard to get through and not really enjoyable. Um... I don't know if you're a Rocco's Modern Life fan, but growing up there were all these like references that they would make throughout the show that were just like brilliantly like kind of brought through as the show went on. And I feel like because they were trying to do it in a the movie, they were just ham fistedly shoved in there. Like um, one of my favorite episodes uh, for the first ever Earth Day, they had a whole Rocco's Modern Life episode dedicated to conservation and. Um, it was a musical episode, and it, I think the best one was there was this character who was just a literal pile of garbage, um, and he would he sang, like, songs with people. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, this is great, this is funny, I loved it. I still know, like, most of the songs. R-E-C-Y-C-L-E, Recycle, C-N-O-S-A-E-R-V-E, Conserve, Don't you P-O-L-L-U-T-E, Pollute the Lake, the Sky, the Seas, or else you're gonna get what you deserve. Stuff like that. Um, and they, like, shoved him in to this episode, like, into this movie. And I was like, this is terrible. Conversely, when I saw Enter the Florpus, they just kind of played the fact that they weren't around for a long period of time as like a gag a running gag that like a that uh the character spent the past like you know x amount of years hiding in the toilet waiting for uh people to let their guard down like ah <laughs> like that's and then they never brought it up again like oh you know they've been gone for a while but like that's really it um, and then it had plot, it had depth, it wasn't just taking the, the old thing and just throwing all the things that you've been saying, here you go. Um, so, uh, Enter the Florpus, I think, did it right. Rock was my own life static, Kling did it wrong. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that, because I feel like I talked about it a lot longer than Henry cares about. But, anyway, so here I am in my new studio apartment. I've got decorations. Some decorations. But as you can see, I have a lot of empty space. What decorations should I get? How do how do I do this? Give me some advice, Henry. You have stuff, apparently. Um let me know what you think. Alright, goodbye.